Okay, so I'm here with my man, Corbin. Hello. And we're teaching him how to hit a one-hander. So, one-hander topspin, which is one of the hardest ones, especially, I think, for young men like like Corbin here. Lots, lots of people his age start with a two-hander, but he really likes a one-hander. But does not have topspin on it yet. We're gonna let him take a couple swings on it. Just take a couple of swings, do whatever you think is right, and see if you get the ball to spin. Let's try it. Notice he took a nice swing, no spin. Do it again. Got a little spin there, not bad. Try it again. A little spin there, one more time. No spin. So he's a little inconsistent. Not bad though, because he did get them all to spin a little bit. So that's better than a lot of people, I would say. But we still, you know, we want to be able to take, if you don't mind, every time we know, I know someone's master tossman when they come, and every time they take a stroke, the ball is rotating. So we can see that the ball is clearly rotating a lot more, right? So what we're first going to do now I usually do this with your forehand side, I'm a lefty, he's a righty. What I want you to do is with the back of your hand, actually come to the ball and just kind of feel it go up and down like that. Just do that a little bit. Just take it, don't do a full swing, just literally do like this. Massage the ball up and down, back and forth. With the back of your hand, that's right. You feel that? Mm-hmm. Keep going. Good. All right, that's step one. So he's already developing topspin without even knowing it. Step two, he's gonna take his hand, he's gonna go like this, and then when he really feels a good grip on it, he's gonna go low, and then come up, and go as high as you can, up like that. See that? Do that exact shape. Rip up this thing as high as you can. Air that armpit out. I like to call it airing out the armpit. Let's see. Whoa, look at that thing spin. And that was awesome. Give me five, that's a tossman backhand right there. We can see we're progressing really nicely. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bracket, we're gonna put it on the, the uh, ball there. We're just gonna go like this, we're gonna massage it back and forth. This looks easy. One thing too, we want his motorcycle grip. I want you to actually hold the racket like that like you're riding the motorcycle. See that? Okay. Like riding the motorcycle. Yeah, that's right, buddy. And then just go like that. That's your first test. That is a lot harder than it looks. I want you to get more in a motorcycle grip. Knuckles on top of the racket. There we go. How does that feel? Pretty good. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. You feel your strings kind of grabbing the ball up and down? Yes, sir. Look at that. Yes, sir. What a nice guy. All right. I knew I liked this guy for a reason. All right. Good. Give me your racket. Now, I want you to go like this. Watch out. Up high as you can. Let me see you do that. Make sure we get the motorcycle grip. You want to back up half a step. There you go. That's right. Now, roll it up, and then when you feel really confident, oh my gosh! Do you see what's happening here to our man? Do you see what's happening? Give me five. Okay, now, we're just gonna do, this is how we just develop it, Corbin. Now I just want you to hold the racket a little bit further away. You're gonna go to it, you're gonna touch it, stop on it, and go. Again, I don't want you to swing at it yet. I want you to be here, a little further away from it, come beneath the ball, up to it, stop it, feel it, and go. Try that. Again, we gotta make sure we got the motorcycle grip. That's perfect. So a little bit away, guide it. Good, come up to it, good, feel it and go. Perfect topspin. Very nice. Now, last one. We're going to get set. I want your wrist below the ball. Come up to it and brush through it. Good. Do that again. Good. Really feel. Go slow. Really make sure you're coming from beneath the ball up and through. Beneath the ball. That's good. Do that again. Good, do that again. Just keep making it more steady, more continuous, more flowing. Good, one more. 
Good. Now do a little stroke. Now kind of swing at it like that. Ah, see a little, yeah. So what happens when he changes, you can see he's got the topspin going. When he changes, he opens up his hand just slightly and he also starts on the ball too high. So if you start high, it gets harder to make that spin. So make sure you're, you keep your wrist down and come up and let it go. Down beneath the ball, try not to make a change this way. So what I want you to do is what you did before, kind of come to it, feel it, brush it, feel it, brush it. Then as you feel some confidence, just kind of, when you think you got it, let it go. Look at that, he did it first try. Good, he's got it. Good. Oh, that was all he's got, give me five. You see that guys? So Corbin, come on in here, I wanna just tell you something. You just did something that literally people have been playing for sometimes 20, 20 plus years, have never been able to do, and that's get top spin on a one and a back end. It's one of the toughest things to do. You did it in about five minutes. Woo. And I wanna invite other people watching this video, if they would like one of these bad boys here at Topspin Pro, all I gotta do is click below this video, and Corbin and I are gonna continue our private lesson. Great job. Woo. Yeah. Awesome, man.